All right, we're back here at Fan Expo Canada 2022, here with uh, Canadian comic book legend artist, Ken Lashley. He's laughing, he's laughing. Um, <laughs> right? Um, Ken, how's Fan Expo going for you? I know we're, I know we're on the last day. Uh, it's pretty good, you know, other than the last night trying to get out of here with the crazy traffic. Yeah. Other than it's been crazy good, pretty good, can't complain. The fans are always good in Toronto. It's my hometown, come on. Dope stuff. Um, I gotta ask, you know, all too often, in the creative industry in the creative field and maybe not so much now but like when you were first kind of coming up uh you know it might have been difficult for people to understand what you were trying to achieve or what you were doing um i gotta ask during those times what did your uh what did you know what did your friends think you do you know that question and then uh, and then how would you describe what you do um the, all, the, all my friends thought i was just hanging out and doing fun stuff all all, all day like Oh, he's drawing comics, man. That must be so much fun. But it, I hate to tell people it's a job. Like right? it's a job like anything else. Deadlines, and uh, you're dealing with a lot of different things. That you know, it's just like any other job. Uh, there's always up, you know, pitfalls, and you know, time, and you know, you don't take care of yourself. You know, those kinds of things. But I'm always, I uh, was always in my studio. I was always drawing. It's a relentless type of uh, schedule too, right? The, the books come out monthly, so there, there are no days off. You know, you got to get it done, and that's just it, right? Yeah. Get the work done, put the work in, and clearly you, I mean, you're literally working as we're talking. I love it, I love it. Um, now, I gotta ask, you've had the opportunity to draw for both Marvel, DC, as well as Star Wars. Uh, in this vast, you know, thing that we know as the multiverse, uh, how, what would you, do, you know, find yourself drawing, even if it was just for yourself, even if you weren't necessarily working? Well, I'm, I'm a Star Wars guy, Star Wars and X-Men guy, so, for, for me, this is like, you know, don't tell them I said this, but I would definitely draw this stuff for free. Yeah. But I, would, uh, but I wouldn't now. I mean, I'm a professional, right? But, uh, of course. But there was a time where I would just love to be a part of that whole universe and love to do it. So for me, this is like a dream come true to be able to a chance to work on this stuff. So, yeah, man, I mean, all that stuff. X-Men was my, was my thing growing up. My favorite cartoon series growing up was G-Force. Uh, gotcha, man, uh, for all those uh, who, who want to ask. But uh, And I got a chance to, to work on that a few years ago. And... And X Men, X Men Gold. I got a chance to work on that. So, yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been very, very lucky. Very lucky. I can't complain. Very dope. Uh, we're kind of asking some of the different artists this question specifically. Um, color palette. Is there a particular color palette that you like to work in? Uh, I'm, fr I'm from the '90s, so hot fuchsia pink is always good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I always like that. Uh, that color always looks good. I don't know what it is about that color. Yeah. But no matter what, whatever you put it on, no matter what it is, it always looks good. Um, so I don't know, but I mean, I, I'm a I'm a cool when I when I when I draw, I usually use cool more than anything else. But um, you know, you know it's like anything; else. it just really kind of depends on the character, to be honest with you. Have you ever taken on commissions? And if so, what's the weirdest commission you've been asked to do? Weirdest commission? Um, the super weird ones I won't do. Yeah. Uh, you know, but but there was one that I uh, there was one that I really like. One that I really liked was um, somebody asked me to draw Pam Greer as Galactus. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I thought that I thought that was pretty cool. So I drew a picture of Pam Greer, you know, from the 70s, 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 with the head, with the head yeah. and it was kind of cool. Yeah. It was kind of cool at the end. So I would say that was one of my favorite things. I, I, it looked. At first, when I got it, I was like, huh? Yeah. But then I was drawing it, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I think we need to cast Pam Greer as Galactus in the MCU. I think that, I think that sounds cool. That would be pretty You've specific. already done the concept art, so. Yeah, well, Ken, thank you so much. Again, uh, uh, Canadian icon, legend, artist. I think we can give that. I think we would say that. Definitely one of the hardest working people in the industry. Uh, uh, um, okay, I'll, I, I'll take that, I guess. Wow, that's pretty cool. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ken. Anytime. Cool.